I'm Stephanie Silverman. I'm executive director of the Belcourt Theatre. Well, my favorite concession to, at the movies is, of course, popcorn, because, you know, you got to go for the traditional. But my favorite thing at the Belcourt is that we have these amazing tamales that are made in the Mesocamal kitchen, and they're, they're delivered to us every week, along with empanadas and other great treats. And there's pretty much nothing like watching a great movie and eating those amazing locally made tamales. I think the biggest misconception for the last several years is um, just the lack of understanding that we're a nonprofit. So the difference for the Bell Court is that we're mission driven. So we program from the films first. We, we choose films because we think they're special, they're important, they tell stories our community needs to see versus the bottom line. The film Tree of Life, it was a Terrence Malick film a few years ago, it had this extraordinary segment in the middle where you followed these three boys growing and as the mother of boys, I just, that segment was one of the most beautiful um, sections of children and, and children growing up that I've ever seen on film and it just still makes me a little teary today. You know, I am a really big fan of Marion Cotillard. I think she makes really interesting choices. And I'm a really big fan of, you know, Nashville's own Nicole Kidman. She too, I mean, she's movie star gorgeous, but she continually makes creative and challenging choices for herself. And I just love those actors who, who really bury themselves in their creative lives and do things that are deeply interesting. One thing viewers may be surprised to know about me is that I am from Omaha, Nebraska, and my summer job in Omaha, Nebraska was that I worked at a horse racing track selling tip sheets and betting forms to old gamblers. They also had to teach me how to count money and to face my bills. I was very unprepared for that world. Frankly, the bathrooms are going to make a huge impact on people, but I think the, the part that people are going to be surprised about are the new spaces, the screening room and the education space. It's just going to allow us to blossom programmatically. Ooh, well, you can find me hanging out in a lot of places. I dearly love Boulevard. It's close to my house, and it's a beautiful place to grab a drink on a Friday night. Um, Anywhere along 12 South, also close, a lot of Sevier Park, I got kids. So, um, you know, pretty much anywhere in the sort of core of Nashville, it's fun to float around because it just keeps growing and changing. You know, what's funny about my dream host for the Oscars is he did it and he, people didn't like him, but I kind of loved him. It was Jon Stewart. Jon Stewart's my dream host for anything at any time. I just think he's so smart and hilarious. So I hope they give him another chance. My favorite film of all time is a hard one, but um, I think it's one from my youth just because it was really important to me at the time that I saw it. And it's this sweet little film called Breaking Away. It's about um, a group of kids in Bloomington, Indiana, and it just resonated to me as a Midwestern girl. anything that has costumes and Jane Austen involved. I watch them over and over and over. I have the BBC Pride and Prejudice that I watch any rainy day, that's what I, or if I'm traveling, I always have it with me so I can always pop it in if I can't answer another email. It, I just adore them and I can watch them for hours on end and my husband is constantly astounded at it. Exciting.